From albino squirrels to pink dolphins, rare genetic abnormalities and strange evolutionary processes result in these rare colored animals. Join me for today's video where we take a look at 15 rare colored animals. Number 15, pink grasshopper. Grasshoppers are found all across the world, and with more than 11,000 known species, they're well adapted to survive in most environments. While there are small differences between each species, all of them share several core characteristics. They have five eyes that allow them to detect light levels and look for food, antennae that respond to touch and smell, and mouth parts that face downwards and are designed for chewing through plant matter. Because of their preferred food sources, grasshoppers are usually found in fields and places where there's a lot of foliage, and as they're only a few inches long at most, they are at real risk of larger predators. One of the ways they counteract this is by being green in color, which camouflages them against plant life. But occasionally, a grasshopper is born that's completely different and is instead pink. The result of a genetic mutation, it's not known how common an occurrence this is because it makes them so easy to see that they're much more likely to be eaten by a bird before they reach adulthood. Still, some individuals do manage to survive, and it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience to see one in its natural habitat. The amazing hue is caused by a condition called erythrism, which actually results in the overproduction of certain pigments in their body and can result in a range of colors from faint pink to a vivid, almost fluorescent shade. Number 14. White Squirrel There are more than a hundred different known species of squirrel, and they are animals that can be found on virtually every continent around the world. Normally, because of the prevalence of the eastern gray squirrel and red squirrel, you'd expect them to be one of these two colors, but some develop a condition called leucism, which leads them to grow perfectly white fur instead. In the wild, this makes it far more difficult for them to evade predators, so their chances of survival are slim. But there are several communities that are made up almost entirely of white squirrels, the largest colony of which can be found in Olney, Illinois. They've become such a well-known sight there that white squirrels feature on the local police department's badge, and the animals have the right of way on all of the town's streets, with a $500 fine given to any driver that hits one. There's a number of other towns in the United States that also have significant white squirrel populations, and several university campuses do too. It's the human fascination with them that's the main reason they're able to survive in these places, and not only have the populations managed to establish themselves, but they flourish there. Number 13. Violet Sea Snail You'd normally think of snails, particularly those in the ocean, as having fairly dull and boring colors that help them to blend in with the sediment and avoid predators. But there's also one species that evolved in a completely different way. Found in the warmer waters of the oceans around the world, violet sea snails have a vivid purple coloration because of their habitat and actually functions as an effective camouflage technique despite seemingly standing out amongst everything else in the water. That's because rather than meandering along the sea floor or within a reef, this species floats on the water's surface, something they're able to do by creating a raft of bubbles that they hold onto. With their bodies positioned upside down, the spires of their shells is a lighter shade, while their ventral sides are darker, and this means that if you look up from beneath, it's almost impossible to see them against the backdrop of the sky. What's even more surprising is that violet sea snails are rarely found on their own, and instead congregate in groups of many thousands of individuals. Occasionally, winds and currents cause huge numbers to wash up ashore, and it's when they're on the beach that you get a chance to truly see how unusual they are. Number 12. Cotton Candy Lobster Found along the Atlantic coast of North America, American lobsters are a popular delicacy, with tens of millions caught each year to keep up with the demand. Normally in the wild, they are a bluish green or brown, but genetic mutations or unusual water conditions can on occasion cause them to develop drastically different colors. One in a couple of million, for example, are blue instead, and one in 30 million are yellow or orange. These aren't the rarest, though, because an estimated 1 in 100 million are albino, and even rarer ones are the so-called cotton candy lobsters. Often a blend of baby blue and pink, these rainbow-colored creatures are only found every four or five years, and it's quite a shock when they're pulled up from the water. They're so rare that experts aren't certain why they developed this color, but it's most likely to do with their diet. Most of a lobster's pigmentation is derived from the crabs and shrimp that they normally eat, but if they happen to eat mainly pigment-free food, such as a lobster chow that's dropped into the oceans by fishermen or is used on lobster farms, then faint colors like these become more prominent. 
Number 11. Halloween Crab Most of the more than 4,500 known species of crab around the world are either one or possibly two colors, normally made up of various shades of orange. But there are some, particularly in tropical regions, that have a much more varied palette. One of the most colorful of all is the Halloween crab, which is also known as the moon crab or white spot crab, and it's a species that's found along the Pacific Ocean from Mexico down to Panama. They're quite a small species, with a shell that grows to around 2 inches or 5 centimeters long, and will live in a range of different environments, from sandy beaches to mangrove swamps and rainforests. If there's one crawling around near you, it'll be quite easy to spot, because the species has mainly purple claws, bright orange legs, and a mostly black mane shell with yellow spots behind their eyes and a number of white spots across their backs. Luckily for these crabs, there are nocturnal species that are able to evade predators under the cover of night, and it's then that they scavenge for leaf litter and seedlings. During the day, they instead hide within burrows in the ground, which in some cases can reach as far down as 5 feet or 1.5 meters from their opening. Number 10. Oriental Dwarf Kingfisher Found throughout the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia, the Oriental Dwarf Kingfisher is one of the most surprisingly colored birds you'll ever see. As one of the smallest of all kingfisher species, measuring at just 5.5 inches or 14 centimeters tall, they make up for their diminutive stature with their incredible plumage, which gives them a blue-black back, yellow and orange underfeathers, purple, pink, and red upper parts, along with a red bill and feet. Preferring to keep to forests and wetlands, this species spends most of their time near streams and ponds in search of insects to feed on, but will usually build their nests far away from the water. They're extremely agile in flight, which means they're able to capture insects mid-air or pluck spiders from their webs, and will often plunge into the water to retrieve prey from just beneath the surface. Despite their beauty and importance to the ecosystem in keeping insect numbers under control, there's increasing concern about the future of oriental dwarf kingfishers because they're so reliant on having a large habitat to fly around. Increased deforestation, pollution, and the draining ponds and streams mean that populations have drastically fallen in recent decades, and now they're rarer than ever. Number 9. Peacock Tarantula Spiders aren't usually a type of animal you'd think of as being colorful, but there are some species that take on a surprisingly vivid hue, other than the usual blacks, browns, and dark reds. One of the most impressive is the peacock tarantula, because it's the only species of tarantula that has a body covered in blue hair. This is a coloration that develops as they mature and can take on almost a metallic quality. When fully grown, the spiders can measure up to 8 inches or 20 centimeters across and are highly prized by collectors. They are, however, extremely rare and only found in the wild in a forested region in central India that covers an area of less than 39 square miles or 100 square kilometers. Also known as the Goody Sapphire Ornamental Tree Spider, they can live for up to 15 years and are now bred in captivity to sell as pets because it's illegal to remove them from their natural habitat. As well as being popular because of their color, they also have a mild temperament and will choose to avoid danger or conflict if they can. But this doesn't mean that they can't pose a potential threat, as just like with other tarantulas, they're able to inflict a venomous bite that would be incredibly painful to anyone who's subjected to it. Number 8. Albino Kangaroo Growing as tall as 6 feet 7 inches, or about 2 meters, and weighing up to 200 pounds, or 90 kilos, kangaroos are by far the largest of all marsupials and are native only to Australia and the island of New Guinea. There are four main species, the red kangaroo, the eastern grey, the western grey, and the antilopine, and they're all usually a reddish-grey color. They are, however, a species that's susceptible to albinism, and this means that on very rare occasions a kangaroo is born without any pigment whatsoever. It's thought to happen once every 50 to 100,000 births, and this means their hair and skin is pure white. With as many as 50 million kangaroos in Australia, it's thought that there may be around 500 albinos, and while their color may mean they're more at risk of being attacked, they grow to be just as strong as any other. So once they reach a certain size, there's no reason why they won't go on to live a normal life. The condition is genetic, and as well as true albinos, there's also a sequence that produces a white kangaroo that still has colors in their eyes, nose, and other places which means that where there's one white kangaroo, there's very likely to be more, with several large families known to exist. Number 7. Blue Iguana 
Iguanas are large herbivorous lizards that are found across South America and the nearby islands and are normally thought of as being green or brown in color. They can, however, develop various different shades, and there's one subspecies which is native to Grand Cayman that is distinctly blue. Growing to a length of 5 feet or 1.5 meters, blue iguanas are the largest terrestrial animals native to the island. Often seen in forests, on rocks, or near the shoreline in direct sunlight, their blue coloration becomes even more pronounced during the breeding season, with the vividness helping females decide which males they want to mate with. As there are very few natural predators on Grand Cayman, blue iguanas are known to be one of the longest living species of lizards, with some known to have been almost 70 years old. But the chances of actually seeing one are becoming increasingly remote. Once thought to be present in huge numbers, the introduction of pets like cats and dogs and the changing environment due to construction meant that by 2003 only 15 individuals remained in the wild. A conservation program which has seen hundreds of captively bred ones released has begun to see population numbers recover, but they're still considered to be endangered and could well become extinct within the next decade or so if this work doesn't continue. Number 6. Nicobar Pigeon Pigeons are generally regarded as pests in cities around the world, but not every species is boring and gray like you probably imagine. There's one, for example, that's only found on the small islands of India and Southeast Asia that's far more colorful and is also believed to be the closest living relative to the extinct dodo bird. Known as the Nicobar Pigeon, they grow to around 16 inches or 40 centimeters long, and they're covered in metallic green, copper, and white plumage. Normally congregating in flocks, the birds are often seen flying from island to island within their range in constant search of food. They'll usually sleep on offshore islets to avoid being attacked, but will almost go wherever there are seeds and fruits available, even if this means venturing close to human structures. Because of the way they look, Nicobar pigeons have for a long time been extensively hunted, either to eat for ornamental purposes or to keep as pets, and this combined with extensive habitat destruction means there are now fears that the species will go the same way as their cousin the dodo. Their trade is now illegal, however, in an attempt to avert this from happening, and they are currently regarded as being near threatened. Number 5. Mount Kaputar Pink Slug when you think of a slug, you'd probably imagine a dull, slimy creature that's gray or brown in color to help it blend in with dirt or soil. But not every species of them is like that. Some are far more colorful, and the boldest of all is one that's found on Mount Kapitar in eastern Australia. Named, imaginatively, the Mount Kapitar Pink Slug, the creature grows to around 8 inches or 20 centimeters long, develop a fluorescent pink coloration that was described as one expert as being as bright pink as you can imagine. They've only ever been seen on top of the mountain in an area that covers less than 40 square miles or 100 square kilometers, but this is probably why such a noticeable creature has managed to survive in the first place. The region was cut off from the outside world by a volcanic eruption around 17 million years ago, and it's become a high-altitude sky island where slugs and other animals and plant life have been isolated ever since. Without the predators they'd have to deal with at ground level, the slugs have become an integral part of the ecosystem where they're one of the main animals responsible for breaking down plant material to produce nutrient-rich soil. During the daytime, they tend to hide within fallen leaves at the base of trees to hide from the few birds that are on the lookout for prey, and it's at night when they emerge to eat algae and moss on the tree trunks before returning to their hiding place at dawn. Number 4. White Peacock there are three distinct species of peafowl, one from India, one from Southeast Asia, and one from Africa. While they all have noticeable differences, the one thing that they are known for the most is their extravagant train of feathers that Charles Darwin first suggested were a means to attract a mate. They are undoubtedly one of the most spectacular and colorful birds in the world that come in various shades of blue and green, but perhaps ones that stand out the most are those that seemingly lack any pigmentation at all. Occasionally, a pure white peacock is born, and rather than being true albinism, this is usually a result of leucism, which means the pigment cells are unable to move to the surface during development. As this is a genetic condition, white peafowls that breed with each other will produce white offspring, and owners now do this on purpose because they're just as popular as the colorful variety. Surprisingly, white ones typically go on to develop longer tail feathers, which means that the birds have more weight to carry around with them, but this usually means that they develop stronger muscles and are actually fitter as a result. 
in the wild, the presence of color or not doesn't seem to affect which peacock a female will choose, and instead it's the size that matters the most, something which is believed to indicate a healthier individual. Number 3. Red Velvet Ant of the more than 100,000 known species of wasps around the world, the vast majority have black and yellow or orange coloring. But there's an unusual species that's native to the eastern United States that looks very different. Called the red velvet ant, they're the largest of all the velvet ants and can grow to a length of up to three quarters of an inch or 1.9 centimeters. As the name suggests, these wasps have several unusual traits beyond the fact that they grow hairs over their bodies that are either black or a deep shade of red, as the females also lack wings, so are often mistaken for ants. The bold coloration is, however, a warning to other animals for how dangerous these creatures can be, because as a parasitic wasp, they have a potent venom that results in an extremely painful sting so much so that they're also known as cow killers because livestock have been known to die of shock as the result of being stung by one. This danger is further exacerbated by the fact that they're quite aggressive and instead of fleeing danger will usually take on a defensive posture and will choose to sting first as soon as they have an opportunity to do so. They are a fairly solitary species though, so you don't have to worry about disturbing a nest. In fact, they don't build homes for themselves at all and choose to lay their eggs in the nests of other species, such as horse guard wasps or cicada hawk wasps. Number 2. I am Samani Chickens come in a wide range of different colors, and each of the many hundreds of breeds are visually distinct in their own way. The rarest and most unusual, though, is the Ayam Samani, which originated in Indonesia and are almost entirely jet black. The color is caused by a gene that leads to a condition called fibromelanosis and means that their bodies produce far more pigment than normal. And it's not just their feathers that are black, but their beaks, tongues, combs, wattles, and even their internal organs, flesh, and bones are black. As well as their color, they're also able to develop much more muscular thighs, which means they are faster runners than other chickens. And this has led them to not only be popular for cockfighting in some places, but also be regarded as spiritually significant, with records of their use in religion and mystical purposes dating back at least 800 years. They can now be found all around the world, not just in Indonesia, but they're still one of the rarest breeds of all. Despite being black all the way through, though, their eggs are instead cream-colored and virtually indistinguishable from those of other chickens. Number 1. Pink Dolphin Of all the species of animals on Earth, dolphins are seen as some of the most intelligent and have a special status in the minds of people. There are at least 40 different species of the aquatic mammals, and while most are gray, there are two species that are instead pink. The first and most famous are the Amazon River Dolphins, which live in the muddy and murky waters that run through the Amazon rainforest. The largest of all river dolphins, they grow to a length of around 8.2 feet or 2.5 meters and have a varied diet of more than 53 different fish, as well as turtles and crabs. It's this that's thought to affect their skin pigmentation as they age, and by adulthood they take on a visibly pink hue. Amazingly, they live in pods of up to 35 individuals and work together in catching prey. And while they're endangered and it's rare to see them, witnessing pink river dolphins in action is one of the greatest sights in all of nature. The other species of pink dolphin is the Indo-Pacific humpback dolphin, and they're found in the coastal regions of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Growing to about 11.5 feet or 3.5 meters long, they live up to 40 years in the wild and can be either gray, pure white, or pink. It's not known why there's such a variance in their color. The ones that appear pink are most commonly seen along the coast of China and Thailand. Rather than actually having pink skin, they're white, and the appearance of the color happens because of the blood vessels near the surface that have overdeveloped as a means of controlling their body temperature in rapidly changing environments. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.